Hello, this is Joe Neville, back with another video about my newly arrived Aruba 6300s. Now I've got one on the desk booted up next to me here and I'm going to connect it to my management network via the front panel management port, so the RJ45 port on the front of the box. And what I thought I'd do is take this opportunity to show you the different address allocation methods that are available for a CX device, a factory default, straight out of the box, will pick up an IPv4 address and it can also pick up uh, an IPv6 address. So the V4 can be via DHCP v4 and the V6 can be via DHCP v6 and via Slack as well. And it also can dual stack itself. So if you've got DHCP v4 uh, and DHCP v6 on the address or combinations of that, you can have your v4 and your v6 addresses. So I'm gonna uh, jump onto the box and show you that to show you how easy it is to put an IP address on these devices. And then that can be tied into a wider zero touch provisioning workflow. Now, I've written down the details here, so hopefully it will make sense now. And I should say no expense spared. There's no flashy graphics uh, <laughs> here or any of that writing on the screen nonsense. I'm afraid you just have to make do with a pen and paper for this quick video. So this is what I've got so with my awful handwriting. So it's VLAN 150 is the first cable I'm going to plug into the management port. And that's uh, V6 and V4. So it's uh, 2001 DB8 150 slash 64. And uh, on the default gateway, I've got the M flag on and the A flag off. So there'll be no slack. It will just be DHCP v6 because I've got a Linux server on this VLAN, which is running DHCP v4 and v6. Uh, so we've also got uh, our IPv4 address on the default gateway. So this, what you'll see is that the CX device will be dual stacked when I have that cable connected. We'll disconnect that cable then go for the second one, which is uh, configured with VLAN 200 on the default gateway uh, that I'm, of my management switch. And that is V6 only, it's 2001 DB8 200 slash 64. And that's configured for Slack only, so that A flags on. It's not connected into the, uh, there's no connectivity to this Linux server for the DHCP. Okay, so you'll see the various methods that are available when we boot up for that uh, to grab an IP address essentially. So let's dive straight into it. I'll share my screen and run you through the output. Here I am on the console of my 6300, then I will log in. Okay, and the interface is show interface management that we need. As you can see, you've got that address mode, DHCP, that is V4 or V6. Uh, we've got the MAC address and the status. So the port itself is down. There's no cable connected. I'll do a show run for it. Okay, so it's uh, no shut D and IP DHCP. Now let's plug the first cable in. So this is going to be for DHCP V4 and DHCP V6. So this is the VLAN 150. I'm plugging that into the front panel port now. Yep, I've got a link light, that's good. Just have to wait a while for it to do its thing. Okay, you can see you've got a V6 link local address pretty quickly. Oh, and there we are, right, we've got everything. I'll bring that up to the middle of the screen. So you have uh, a V4 address via DHCP V4. We've got the option for the default gateway came in as well. This is correct, this is the uh, my management switch that I've got. I've also got this address here, so my V6 address, which came via DHCP V6. Okay, so that all looks good. Now I'm going to swap over to the second cable, so VLAN 200. I've just plugged the second cable into the VLAN 200. Let's see what we've got. We need to wait a while for the RA to come through. And there we are. Okay, so this is via Slack. We've got 2001 DB8 200, and then it's part of the slash 64 
uh, subnet there that this device has picked up. Oh, I know I should say that the default gateway being the one via, because V6 picks it up via the uh, RA. Okay, so multiple approaches to getting IP addresses on these devices at first boot. And to finish off, now I've got an IP address on my device, I'm going to upgrade the code via the web GUI, which is a nice easy way to do it uh, for a small amount of switches that I've got. So I have jumped back onto VLAN 150, and I'm gonna log in to the web interface via the v6 address so i'll go over to my browser so it's https 2001 db8 150 colon colon 2b hit return okay uh, advanced set the risk and continue because it's a self-signed cert fine log in here okay uh, and I can upgrade the firmware here expand that for you right uh, browse and on my desktop I've got the image so it's 10.4.20 at the moment which I'm going to load onto my device so I'll upload it to the primary there we go yeah go ahead Okay, new firmware has been successfully uploaded. Good stuff. It gives you this warning about the reboot. Fine, and the reboot button is here. So hit that, and we'll choose the image, which is the primary image, reboot onto that. Good stuff. So it logs us out. And I'll skip ahead while the uh, device is booting. Okay, the device has booted up after it's loaded the new version of code. I'm back on the console and I will log in and show you the version of code via the show version. Okay, there we are. So it's 10.4.20, latest version of code. So that's all I wanted to do for this video. I've got an IP address on my 6300 and now I've got the latest version of code. Thank you very much for watching. Do like, subscribe, all of those good things. Leave me a comment if you would like to see specific uh, content and do check out the other videos uh, of mine and my colleagues over on the Airheads Broadcasting channel. Link in the description. All that's left for me to say is my name is Joe Neville. Thank you for watching and goodbye.